New tonight, a playground in New Bedford for children with disabilities will soon be metered parking spots. The decision to charge for parking at Noah's, Play, uh, Noah's Place Playground was recently made by the city's Park of Commissioners. It has people in New Bedford upset, and now city leaders are trying to stop it. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts explains from New Bedford. In just a few weeks, these parking spaces will have parking meters, and it has many people in the city upset. That's because this park caters to children with disabilities. Now, this decision by the park board has city councilors stepping in to stop it. Noah's Place Playground in New Bedford has been putting smiles on the faces of children since 2017. Kids in wheelchairs uh, normally would never be able to go down a slide or on a swing. Here, they can do that. The inclusive playground for children of all abilities sits on Pope's Island and shares a parking lot with a marina. Parking was free of charge until now. It sounds like there will be parking meters installed here on April 15th. The decision by the city's park board has city councilor Ryan Pereira baffled and outraged. Basically, allow uh, families 20 spaces only. Um, two hours for free, and then three dollars an hour after that. And the process, he says, isn't easy. You're going to have to pull out your smartphone, download an app, or or text uh, a number, put your credit card information. Then your two hours starts for free. You have to let the app know when you when you've left, so it won't charge you if you go over those two hours. He wrote a letter to the board with a request. Let's table it and let's discuss it. They ignored that request and approved it unanimously. So he went to his colleagues on the city council who voted unanimously to send the issue to the city's property committee that he says will investigate this. Pereira is hopeful this decision that he says should have never been made in the first place will be rescinded before it's too late and families are forced to pay up. Maybe they're not going to be able to go to Disney World. Maybe they can't go to Six Flags, right? But they can come here for free and enjoy it, or, or they used to. Now we have reached out to the park board for comment, but haven't heard back. In New Bedford, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.